Alright, uh, what's up everybody? Who has any expectations for this state of play? Not I. <laughs> I'm sorry, but PlayStation has been playing themselves with the multiple state of play. If you have more than like four state of plays in just like six months or so, then it's it, the excitement and the anticipation is gone. It's gone. Especially when you release a panel of information or a little disclosure written on the bottom or in your, on your page, on your Twitter, whatever, your social media, and states all the following is not going to be in the state of play and then you state exactly what's going to be in said state of play why would people waste their time watching it live like you took away all the anticipation all the excitement for your fanboys and no one's really going to watch it except for those that like are participating and know exactly what's going to be in it just you know just to give you guys the views but other than that yeah zero expectation i've had zero expectation from all state of plays for the past two years because you guys have been doing it way too frequently and they've been nothing but a waste of time and then when you tell us that the state of play is going to be showcasing games from your japan studios that just totally just lets out all the air rest in the balloon and it, it's gone the balloon is dead all the air is out there, there's no excitement or anticipation or purpose in watching your state of play the only state of plays that people are interested and hyped for is ones where there's leaks <laughs> where you guys are announcing a new console or new hardware or one of your exclusive games are going to be showcased and there's going to be a release date in the damn thing or there's going to be a pre-order at the end of it to be honest the only thing that people care about your state of plays is every time you guys have a state of play there's a playstation store sale that's it that's the only thing that people care about now i've checked the store right now and i don't see any of the sales that i was seeing online but that's probably because it's either going to take place during the live event or right after, like literally seconds after the event is finished. Um, so definitely keep your eyes on that. There's some pretty good sales on there, but I got to see it for myself when the sale hits the store to then show you guys if it's good, if it's worth it and all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, like I said, zero expectations. Why do you think Xbox doesn't do multiple conferences in a year they'll do like two max conferences and there are huge gaps in between okay they don't need that they don't need to do conferences for day to day because they have other sources like xbox on and i'm pretty sure they have a channel for the game pass itself where they focus on day to day and updates and stuff they don't need to have state four or five six state of plays that are 20 minutes wasting people's time on content that nobody cares about i'm sorry nobody in the world besides japan cares about playstation japan content from japan studios okay unless you're doing freaking <laughs> unless you're doing a, a ghost of tsushima game or um i mean ghostwire looks all right but um and that ghostwire is done by bethesda so but other than that no one cares about the little indie games. So it's going to be another waste of PlayStation's time when they can just be saving up all of the news and content and all that stuff for one state of play. Shit, you can break it down in two days if you want a weekend. But um, yeah, stop wasting our time with these two state of plays. Okay? If you guys need an excuse just to have a PlayStation Store sale, and just make an excuse up, right?
let me guy let me know what you guys think of the state of play when it comes out. This is obviously, you know, my thoughts before it. But I don't think I'll make my thoughts after it. I'll just literally make a video that said, told you so. <laughs> but peace out. Stay safe.